Hello and welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. I am Bailey from Z Digitizing, the world's best custom embroidery digitizing and vector art services provider company. You guys recently asked for a video about the Brother Persona PRS100 single needle embroidery machine common errors and solutions, so here I am. But before we continue, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to get updated about any future videos. Brother Persona PRS100 Embroidery Machine Common Errors Let's discuss some of the common errors of the Brother Persona PRS100 Embroidery Machine. Problem number one, the embroidery design does not sew out properly. There can be a few reasons why the embroidery design does not sew correctly. You're going to want to check for the following issues. Number one, the thread is tangled. If the thread is tangled, you can use tweezers to detangle it from the hook. Number two, the fabric is not correctly put into the embroidery frame. For instance, the material is not taut. If the material is not taut, the design might become misaligned or the stitching might shrink. You're going to want to ensure to properly hoop the material in the embroidery frame. 3. Stabilizer or backing isn't used. Use a stabilizer, also known as backing, when embroidering on stretchy or thin materials, materials with a coarse knit, or materials that easily enable the stitching to shrink. When using the optional cap frame, always remember to use a heavyweight stabilizer when embroidering on a cap that is made of soft fabric. Four, the embroidery frame or the carriage is hitting objects. The design might become misaligned if the embroidery frame or carriage is hitting objects. Ensure that there are no objects within the operating field of the embroidery frame. Five, the material is pinched or caught. If you are facing this error, stop the machine and then place the material properly. Number six, the carriage moved while removing the embroidery frame. The design might become misaligned if the presser foot was hit or if the carriage was moved while changing the bobbin thread, changing the needle, or working near the embroidery frame. Be cautious when changing and reattaching the embroidery frame while changing the bobbin thread, changing the needle, or working near the embroidery frame. If the carriage is moved, turn off the machine and then turn it back on again. The right position of the frame at the time when the machine was stopped is stored in the memory of the machine and the embroidery frame will return to the right position. Number seven, the embroidery frame is much larger than the size of the design. If so, you're gonna wanna use an embroidery frame that is closer to the embroidery size of your design. Number eight, the embroidery frame is not attached correctly to the carriage. You're gonna wanna correctly attach the embroidery frame to the carriage. Ensure that the pins present on the right and left of the arms of the embroidery frame holder safely fit into the holes in the handles on the embroidery frame. Nine, the design wasn't digitized correctly. The design might require more pull compensation or underlay to accommodate stretchy or even high nav materials. Number 10, stabilizer is not attached correctly. For instance, it is smaller than the embroidery frame. If this is so, you're gonna wanna attach the stabilizer correctly using the right amount. Problem number two, I cannot change my needle. How do I change the needle? Embroidering with a twisted needle is very risky as the needle might break while the machine functions. Place the flat side of the needle on a flat surface and check that the distance between the needle and the flat surface is level. If the needle is twisted or if the tip is broken, you're going to want to change your needle with a new one. If the distance between the needle and the flat surface is not level, then your needle is bent. Do not use a twisted needle. Turn the machine off. Ensure to turn the machine off before changing the needle or else injuries might occur if the machine begins embroidering. Loosen the needle set screw and remove the needle. Hold the needle with your left hand and then hold the Allen screwdriver in your right and turn the needle set screw counterclockwise. Ensure that you're using the included Allen screwdriver to change the needle or else excessive force applied to the needle will cause it to break. Don't apply extreme force when tightening or loosening the set screw. Don't apply extreme force when tightening or loosening the needle set screw or else the machine might get damaged. With the flat side of the needle towards the machine back, place the needle upwards until it touches the needle bar stopper. Pass the needle through the hole in the presser foot and then use the needle changing tool to raise the needle. Hold the needle changing tool and press the end of the needle changing tool in to extend the needle mounting clamp. Attach the clamp to the needle and then release the pressed area to clamp the needle. To unclamp the needle, press the tool again. While holding the needle in place with your left hand, tighten the needle set screw. Use the Allen screwdriver to turn the needle set screw in a clockwise direction. Problem number three, why does my needle keep breaking? 
there might be a few reasons why the needle keeps breaking. You're gonna wanna check for these errors. Number one, the needle is not correctly installed. You're gonna wanna correctly install the needle using the steps that we just previously discussed. Two, the needle set screw is loose. Use the Allen screwdriver to securely tighten the needle set screw. Three, the needle is blunt or twisted. Change the needle with a new one. Number four, the area around the embroidery foothole is damaged. You're gonna to wanna to change the presser foot. You'll need to consult your authorized brother dealer to do this. Number five, the bobbin or bobbin case is not installed correctly. Remove and reinstall the bobbin and the bobbin case. Number six, the upper thread is not correctly threaded. The upper thread is catching somewhere. Pull the upper thread by hand from below the presser foot and check if the thread moves smoothly. If the thread doesn't move, it is not correctly threaded. Thread the upper thread correctly. Ensure the thread is caught by the needle bark thread guide. Ensure the needle is caught by the needle bar thread guide. Number seven, the upper thread tension is set very high. Lower the upper thread tension and ensure the tension disc rotates when pulling on the thread. Number eight, the area around the hole in the needle plate is damaged. Change your needle plate and then consult your closest brother dealer. Number nine, the needle touches or hits the needle plate. Change the needle or consult your closest brother dealer. Number 10, the presser foot is set very high and is not placed correctly. The needle touches or hits the presser foot. You're gonna wanna consult your, you're gonna wanna consult your closest brother dealer for this problem as well. So in conclusion, these are the simple steps for the brother persona of PRS 100 maintenance as well as common errors and their solutions. Now that you know how to maintain your machine, it is time to start embroidering. Good luck! If you want digitizing services for your embroidery machine with super fast turnaround and excellent quality, go ahead and just click the link below and get a free quote in less than five minutes. We offer 50% off all of our services to our potential customers on their first order. Hope it'll be helpful for you guys. And if there are any questions related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.